Speaking of Hartsville, coming off that 82 points they put up against Myrtle Beach last week, taking on the other team from the beach in North Myrtle Beach at Kellytown Stadium. So back-to-back -back weeks, the beaches have been to Kellytown. We get it going. Red Fox is already up 7-0 in the first. We pick up the action. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Douglas goes through the read and decides to tuck this one. He takes it in and takes the first down. First play, now in the second quarter, Jay Sean Anderson runs it up the gut, bounces it outside, oh, all man. the way to the score. The Georgia Southern commits. Would it help increase that Red Fox lead to 14? Still second quarter, Douglas again, finding plenty of time. Yep, finds his receiver who has tackled just shy of the goal line. Next play, it's Anderson time. Jumps over the pylon for six. Third score in just the first half for Hartsville as they took a 21-0 lead. Red Foxes would put an exclamation point on this one. Carmelo McDaniel, dude is just straight balling the last couple of weeks. Finds a huge hole and he is gone. Red Foxes take a 28-0 lead in the half and they would go on to shut out the Chiefs. 49 to nothing. Two very impressive wins back to back for them over the two Myrtle Beach teams. First Myrtle and now North Myrtle Beach. The Red Foxes, bam, right there in the mix. They improved to five and three, two and one in region play with that big matchup with West Florence on the horizon. As for the Chiefs, well, their struggles continue, but they're growing, Andrew, and that's what you need to know out there if you're a Chiefs fan. A lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors are playing, which bodes well for the future because those kids are getting a lot of experience at the varsity level, especially the host of sophomores that they've got playing. True that. And in fact, with Hartsville, as they move on to this and that matchup, what we're talking about here now, folks, is the seeding. This is where it gets very important. Hartsville, Wilson. Records are pretty similar. Now it's going to get to the point, we already kind of know where this region is heading with West and South. That's fine. But now there's still a lot of drama here with where Hartsville can end up in terms of seeding. That'll help them or make a break their shot in the postseason. Yeah, and let's be let's be frank here. If Hartsville can find a way to beat West Florence, then you got both of those teams at three and one. And Hartsville would have the tiebreaker over the Knights. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of drama that could happen in, in this one. The only team that you really see out of this region that's has the pedal down, so to speak, and looks the part to win this thing as of tonight is South Florence. Indeed. Simply because the road to the end of the season looks a little bit easier for them because they've got North Myrtle Beach next before they before they play West Florence. So, you know, anything can happen, but boy, it's going to be fun the next two weeks to see how everything kind of goes out. But it's it's like that every season in this region. Indeed. That's why it's one of the best. It is, and that's why we have to leave this region because there's way too much drama. We'll be talking all night about it. We, we could, it. we could. 